hello guys so in this video we are going to write a trigger on account so when an account record is inserted along with that a contact record should also be inserted and the contact record id should be populated on an account record uh, and the account record where the contact id will be populated will be a field called client contact now let's discuss so when an account record will be inserted we know after the account creation we will create a new record of contact and after that we will pass the contact id from the new created contact to the client contact field on the account object so that's a trigger requirement so here we have a trigger called account to client contact and that would be on account object because account record is being inserted and after that if you talk about the context of this trigger that will be after insert because once the account record will be inserted the contact record will insert and so on so for account trigger dot new because we are creating a new account record and once the account record will be created we are calling a instance of contact passing the last name of this contact and the name of the account will be passed to the contact after that we will pass the account id and that would be same as our account id so here we are passing the account id on contact record with the id which of the record which we have created for the account and after that once this is done what we will do we will add these records to a list of contact now let's add the new record which we have to create for contact using the list function that is add and after that we will check if it contains a record or not if it does not contain a record then so we are checking if there is a record or there is a contact on this list if it contains a list uh, this list contains a contact then we will insert it and after that it's it's a, a chance to pass the contact id newly created contact id to the account record so for that for integer i is equals to 0 i is less than trigger dot new dot size and i plus plus so we are iterating on the trigger dot new because uh, there may, may be a number of accounts which are created and after that we will create a new list of accounts to update them now let's add the new record the updated record on this so that would be new account okay so we are adding a new account on this list and it, this account will have a id and the id of this account would be or will be the same of the new trigger so that would be trigger dot new 
and we are passing the id of this uh, trigger dot new along with the okay so we are passing the id of the current account in a new record or new account instance along with that we will pass the client id and the client id would be cone list dot So we will get the ID of this contact from the cone list and after that what we will do we will pass the ID of this cone list that the new created contact on the client ID and that's it. Okay now we will check if this uh, account list create a record or not if it contain a record then we will insert it or we, we will update it if let's deploy it our, tri our trigger is deployed and before proceeding for this trigger we have to create a field client id and that would be a lookup field to the contact now let's go to the account Let's create a new record. Test account to client save and on creation of this record, you we can see a contact is also created. And if we go to the details page of this account on client ID, the contact ID is passed. So that's a trigger scenario, and we have also fulfilled all the scenarios of this trigger so thank you for watching this video if you have any concern uh, just reach out to the comment section and i'll help you there and thank you for watching this video see you in the next one bye